So it all started in December 2018 in the context of a joint industry project that Total Energies and Valorec had joined. And we all as a group got really excited about the potential of additive manufacturing for our technology. And so we started looking for application areas and opportunities to qualify components to be field deployed. We focused on a drilling accessory called a water bushing. It's a crossover, a drilling accessory, which is used for running casing and is only used in case of a well control event so that mud can be circulated to kill the well. But if it is used, it's definitely safety critical. And if it were to fail, it could cause both significant equipment damage and potentially injury and loss of life. This is made from a forging conventionally, and the lead time for those forgings can be very long, uh, 20 weeks or more. And therefore we decided to try to 3D print this component to reduce the lead time. So when people talk about 3D printing or additive manufacturing, the first thing that comes to mind is often plastic printing. But really in our industry, we use so many metal components. And then even among metal technologies, laser powder bed fusion is very widely known, and that's what aerospace use and automotive use. But that's to make small complex components. We need large components and we need them quickly. And for that, there's no better technology than wire arc additive manufacturing which is what we used for this component. And it's essentially welding layer upon layer, followed by machining and heat treatment. Many parts have been 3D printed in the past. That's not new as such, but a safety critical component that is subject to standards, that was a first, for sure. This is a very innovative project as far as Total Energies is concerned and actually for our entire industry. And it took a lot of boldness and good teamwork to, to overcome the hurdles. And it was only possible thanks to the guidelines that Total Energies and Valurec together wrote with other companies in the joint industry project I mentioned before. There are many companies out there today wanting to 3D print components for the energy industry. But for a first like this, we had to work with an established, reputable company with whom we have a strong relationship and who know components the way they were traditionally manufactured. And working with Valurec allowed us to have trust and to reuse the quality and testing plans that had already been developed and adapt those to additive manufacturing. So 3D printing this water bushing proved that a safety critical component can be printed, but this was a temporary part, a surface component. And th I think for us, the, the next frontier really would be downhole components and or permanently installed uh, components, which may require different materials to be developed and, uh, and qualified. There's really um, endless possibilities with adding features to, to components using WAM. We want to make larger components and more complex components. Um, so I think we're really just scratching the surface right now of what's possible. I'm convinced that 3D printing and WAM in particular will disrupt our supply chain in the coming few years and in two ways. The first one is the concept of the digital warehouse and then it's the redesign opportunity that we see in AM. So when we talk about a digital warehouse, this is really the idea that in the future we will be purchasing virtual spare parts as 3D files to be printed on demand and no longer stored on the shelf just in case. Many of our affiliates today have up to 50% of inventory that is dead or dormant. So this is a huge waste both in terms of raw material and the associated carbon footprints. So we want to do things differently. The second benefit um, of additive for our industry is redesign. The main limit is our imagination, which is shaped by the constraints of conventional manufacturing processes. We need to design for additive and come up with new shapes, optimize components to deliver better performance at lower weight, lower carbon footprint. And this can apply to many components such as, for instance, Christmas trees. And this is something that Total Energies is really interested in exploring further. And so this opens up many more exciting opportunities for the future. And I'm sure Total Energies and Valurec will work hand in hand on many of those. <laughs>